Hello everyone. Watch this review slash scarecrow here. I'm not sure which one I'll upload it to. Uh, with a look at Ricky Satome from... I don't know what he's from, but he's this really awesome looking thug character who I figured, you know what? I'm totally gonna pick him up with some clearance and stuff. Uh, it's marked Blacklist on the back, but I couldn't find anything on that. Then there's like some... I guess game spin-off or something, the Crow X Worst or something, yeah. But yeah, um, hold on a second until I'm going to get him out pack, we have a closer look and all that good stuff. And here we have Riki Sentoma, Sotome, out of package, and, you know, he's actually a pretty decent little, I don't know if you'd consider this a trading figure or whatever. You know, you have a fair amount of uh, sculpting on the clothing and everything. You know, even the paint is it's pretty decent. You'll notice that there's a fair amount of shadowing on the shirt here, or shading if you will. The uh, face also has a lot of color, and a lot of lines and everything. I mean, it's just really impressive, the amount of work that goes into some of these smaller figures and everything. I just really wish he was articulate. If he was articulate, that would have been totally awesome, but... At the same time, you'd sacrifice a lot of these sculpt and everything, and, you know, whereas I plan on probably just displaying him, sort of displaying him as more of like a background piece, it's, you know, like when you'd have a display up and stuff, he's like part of the environment. Now, um, although the character comes with a stand, he doesn't actually need it, he stands perfectly well on his own, which is huge plus because, I mean, really, when you have a display going on, who wants to see that? In terms of scale, you know, he's basically four inches. Uh, when I picked him up, I thought he was actually be a little bit larger than that. So it's, um, I guess a mild disappointment, although at the same time it does kind of work out perfectly with some of these smaller lines. Here's uh, Agent Helix for me. G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra line. He was Rise of Cobra. So you can see that he's a fair amount taller. And here's Cyclops from... Well, I mean, it's the standard body mold from Marvel Universe. And it's not standing very well. So, I mean, again, you know... The height just pretty much works. It's well in scale. And again, it is a very decent looking figure, both in terms of sculpt and paint. You also know he's got his hand in his pocket and everything. Looks like he's about to shake down somebody. Eh, I don't know about the character though. I mean, might be here or whatever. But, uh, for my purposes, I'll just display him as a generic thug. By the way, if you look closely, you'll notice that they have, uh, paint on the buttons here. It actually looks like they have this additional shading or whatever for the jacket. It's like this greenish hue that you can see from certain angles. I don't know, kind of weird. Very cool, though. Um, really neat little item. Uh, this has been a look at... Ricky, I guess it's Sautome or something. Yeah. I believe they still have them sort of widely available if you do want to pick one up. And, you know, they are kind of cheap. But yeah, um, until next time, folks. I also realized that I should probably just note the fact that the character does have, like, these little scars on his face and stuff. Which, I mean, are intentional details and stuff. I can't tell if it's just, I mean, the upper one here looks like it might be carved in in addition to being painted in, but the lower one might just be paint. Hard to tell.